pitch, pitch, pitch black. I'm listening. Let get over here in that section. Oh gosh. He just out of nowhere said, just this looks like a spot where I could just kill a woman and just have her body. The blood of her. Oh my god. It's too simple to work. <laughs> Silver, we like hoes, we got goals, we just human, we don't know, yo, we ain't stupid. The only person holding my back is Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your girl Nikki New, aka Nick to the New, aka Nick Murder. Cause I'll be killing them with the truth. CEO of Are You Mud? The podcast for the people. Hey guys, it's Sunday Fun Day. You're gonna be getting this episode a little late in the evening on this Sunday. Nonetheless, it's still the end, and we're wrapping up cancer season. My birthday was just a few days ago. If you've been following me on the social media platforms, you've been seeing me enjoying enjoyment, okay? We are out here in Virginia Beach. We enjoy the Virginia Beach International Carnival where they have the soca. I mean, it's just been so lively. I've just been feeling the love. I just feel so free. I feel like I'm back in my natural element, my actual, it's like I'm back to myself. And those of you who are seeing me out in the public, I thank you for seeing the light within me. And my intention is to spark the light that is already in you. So, in today's podcast episode, as you heard, I was having a chat with this beautiful woman. I mean, gorgeous, all right? I'm talking about face and body, okay? And she is working on herself. Young Gen Z woman. And we were just discussing matters of the heart and relationships and the dynamic between men and women these days. So I was just sharing my experience as I had put in a post in today's, um, on today's social media. When I went to service today, the sermon was on witnessing 101 and it was entitled start with your story. So like I said in the post, all right, I don't, I don't claim to be a pastor. I don't claim to be a deacon. I don't claim to be any, you know, all of those big titles, prophetess and this and that and da, 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 da. I'm literally a woman of God who has seen a lot in this life. And my entire intention of this podcast was to shed a light specifically on mental health and mindfulness, obviously, but also I want us to practice balancing ourselves holistically, our minds, our bodies, and our souls. Because most of us get into the habit of the hustle and bustle, right? We don't know how to be present or be in the now and appreciate the things that are in front of us. A lot of us tend to look what's ahead and there's nothing wrong with being optimistic and ambitious as far as your future, but let us not lose sight of our present. Okay, by focusing on what's, in, you know, by focusing on what's uh, ahead of us or primarily maybe out of our control. All right. So I think the main premise of this uh, week's episode of this message is to be okay with things not going your way. Again, I'm going to repeat that. Be okay with things not going your way because you never know. That actually might be a sign from your spirit guides, God, higher powers that be, whatever you believe in as far as your soul source or whoever you look at as far as the creator, that might be their way of saving you from something that you that's probably not even meant for you. May you all receive the lesson, right? Like uh, one of the uh, artists say, either love me or, uh, excuse me, either learn me or I'm a lesson. So for the gentlemen and the females out there, because we both, okay, are, are are guilty of these acts. So yes, I know we're discussing the men because I am a woman and I'm chatting with another woman who is discussing her dealings with men because we seem to both be heterosexual cis women. But this goes for all walks of life, all right? So don't disregard um, the titles that we are discussing 
in today's episode, but be mindful of the actions and the intentions that are being put forth out there from various people talking to other human beings, because we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. But I'm going to quit right now while I'm ahead, because you still have a few more minutes of the podcast episode to enjoy. So in the meantime, in between time, are you mud? So back in the day, I had me one of those, uh, t- the 10 year one, okay. and oh, his name was Femi. Okay, I gotta say the name, child. <laughs> Nigerian. But Nigerian American, because he's like me, right? Like, our parents are from overseas, uh-huh. but we was born here. You know what I mean? But, so, but we still eat the food and know the languages, or at yeah. least have an idea. And when I say that thing was banging. I'm sorry. Sorry. God, <laughs> flashbacks. Like, whoa, this is bad in my. My big age. So, but I know what that be about. But, all right, are you, like, you're attracted to him, though, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, if you're so, okay, because obviously you have to be attracted because you're too yeah, young for that. Because I would be Hello? <laughs> uh-huh, I know, that's right. But let me tell you, so it went on for years because I was just like, okay, you know, like, it's whatever. Like, I don't really care. da 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 Because, you know, that thing was thanging. So, it's like, all right, you, you, you what you mean i'm like i mean like this was cute but i want more for myself and if you don't see more from me then let me let me go ahead about my business like yeah. that and it's always like it's always a little rough when when you're ready to detach and say you know what this was fun because they don't know how to handle that depending on how they was brought up and stuff like that some of these dudes don't do not really like um rejection at all like at all, <laughs> like, yeah, like, I, like, I, it'd be I like. I watch a lot of, I watch a lot of like fatal attraction. Oh my oh. god, no, not that. I mean, we don't want it that bad at all, but like, no, no, <laughs> I'm just saying, like some guys like dead ass take it to that point. Yeah, like, unfortunately, it's, sad, it's but, scary. Yeah, it's, it is a lot of men. Like, really? A lot of men. You know that? I mean, I mean, I, I was gonna go as far as fatal attraction. I was gonna go as far as like you know, just getting maybe well, like disrespectful, just like killing. But they will take it. They will take it there. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, like, real bad. Oh, wait, wait, girl. That, thank you for saying that. Real bad because, like, my last relationship really, just, literally, just a couple of a, a, a month ago, almost a month ago. Thank you, Lord. Look, almost a month ago, and I was like, you know what, this ain't gonna work. He was like, you know what, get out. I was like, oh, first of all, I was already leaving. Okay, but. And it, 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 cuss, it cussed me out, called me everything but a child of God. And I was looking like, oh my God, this nigga didn't say he loved me. Let me hear me, my baby, get on out of here. But it was, you right about that real bad. You yeah. right about that. I, I ain't never seen nothing like that before, though. It's like, like foot, like out. a, yes! Yeah. Like, they thought in the first day the final war. What is that? <laughs> you seen that, too? This was my first time. Like, I'm from up north. The dude's a little bit more cool. They're like, all right, you know what I mean? Like, they, they be hurt, but they don't yeah. be, like, that hurt. This was my first southern boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to say that. And I was just like. Oh, they all that gentleman and all that sweet and this and that out the window. And then his mother, child, his mother was right behind his back, too. I was like, oh, all y'all niggas is teethings out here. Like, <laughs> first of all, I'm a mother, too, with a child. And you going to let your, your son talk like that? Yo, my, my daughter and my daughter was like, mommy, can I curse? Can I curse? Because she's only nine. I was like, no, baby, like, this this was going on. Let's, let's just get up out of here. Like, look, look. Right. can't you think? Don't girl, <laughs> bro, listen to me. When I tell you, baby girl, had that, that, that closet cleared up, like, in two point seconds flat. I said, ooh. She was like, yeah, mommy, I didn't really know about him. I was like, but why are you ain't saying that? And so just, I said, when did you find out? I said, how'd you feel like that? She said, the first time we met. I said, girl, we've been with this yeah. man for a, day, a year. <laughs> I said, listen to me. I looked at her like, look yeah, at like, like hey, that first instance. Like, yo. Yes. Yeah, so, well, so when the opportunity presented itself, child, my baby, and she is Scorpio too. So oh, I don't yeah. know what's your sign. Um, I'm a Leo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Y'all just is <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> you know, like you said, oh, I'm a Leo. Like, like that joint was light. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought that at you too. But I'm a cancer, so I'm really soft, and I'm uh-huh. just, so I'm all like, you know, it's okay, just pack your bags, maybe we're gonna pray for him, all right? You know, he's just a, he's just a sad man right now, like you know, like girl. But she was like, can I curse? I was like, no, you can't curse. So she repeat because she heard some of the stuff because she didn't like because she heard some of the things that he was saying. Like he was really out of pocket. Like when I say snap, this nigga was like, I hope you die. I was like, oh my god, like, say stuff like that. what you mean <laughs> they say stuff like? Stop! Why are you telling me that this is this is not normal? It's, it's not That's not normal. normal. Like, like, in, a, in, a, in a generation today, it's like the new normal. No, like, he, we no he in this big 
age. Nah, nah. Okay, he big okay. age. He 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 older than me. Pop, okay, pop, okay, like okay. gray hair and all. Like oh, I mean, he's forty, <laughs> forty something years old. Plus, forty plus, forty oh, plus. Out of, out of pocket, honey. Like snap, and then was on the phone. Like yeah, she's psycho. I'm like actually, you're the psycho one right now. I'm just trying to get my things to get up out of here. Like what the? I mean, he got. Uh, I ain't never seen nothing like that before in my life. <laughs> like, I see that, like, when I used to be back in the day, when I grew up in, like, you know, you know, you grew up in the hood or whatever, yeah. and if you, like, let's say you don't like, like, a guy trying to holler at you and you don't yeah. really like him, so I just learned how to smile and just, like, walk away, like, yeah, yeah right? If you get a dude upset, they're like, fuck you, bitch. That's why I never like. Like, that's yeah. how he turned. And I'm like, bro, we were together for a whole year. And you act like you, I'm just a regular nigga on the street. That was, that, that, that <laughs> blew me. Blew me. I was just like, oh my God. I said, I thought you guys were a little bit more gentlemen like in these parts of the. Some cool, please. But I ain't know they be snapping, girl. Bye. I ain't know that. Yeah, but let me. They, they snap real bad. Okay. Note to self. All right, bad. Well, hold on, let me stop it. Hey, how your phone track you? Let's save some lives out here. How, how your phone track you? I'm just explaining how the iPhone works. It's like, oh, I I don't be with all the iPhone stuff and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, okay. That's interesting. Uh-huh. Noted. Red flag. Right. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> get your green bubble out of here. Keep going. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry, green bubbles. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with a tractor trailer thing. Uh-huh. Like, nighttime. Oh, my it's Lord. Like, Pitch, pitch, pitch black. I'm listening. We get over here in that section. Oh gosh. He just out of nowhere said, just this looks like a spot where I could just kill a woman and just have her body. The and blood. Of, her. Oh my god. And I was just in the back. No. Just I, I couldn't believe you, would you me? Like, yeah, you, I was texting me? Like Okay, okay. I was like, you better be on set. I'm ready. Yo. <laughs> my phone was on one percent. Oh I'm my like, god. I and she said on the phone the entire time I got home. I was like, I had twins, I was basically. And did you report? Yes, I could, I could not believe it. He didn't even act like he didn't want to report him. What? Yes, I'm like, you gotta report this man. I like, don't want that to kill me. Bruh. <laughs> I'm like, for real, like, and was pointed out there, like, this could be. I'm like, it was because I was Virginia and I was like, bruh, you're not even that serious. Like, you're not like that serious. Like, you don't even want to report this man. Like, you're not even that serious. Oh no, it was out here. Oh my Cause god. Because when he first said he was like, when I walked to Chile, I don't remember nothing. Oh no, so he was. Yeah, it was one of those type of situations. Like, Not that type of time. Oh god, I'm so sorry. That is so, so scary. scary. I, I, I was scared. I didn't know I don't what wait, I was I, My heart just started beating like boom, boom, boom. I'm like, I don't know if I should. I think it would have been worse, kind of, yeah, sort of, because. probably would have triggered him more. So, how, okay, so how was you rejecting? So, all right, so we got to be mindful how we reject these dudes. Because, you know what's crazy? Yeah. This morning, I was literally thinking in my head, like, I probably could have left while he was away at work. Yeah, that's You know what I mean? Thing. Like, I, I, I was like, I probably should have just said that, like, you know, especially when I knew in my spirit. You know, you're all right. Like, you know, you got to kind of stroke their ego. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you, like you, 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 you cool. Yeah, 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 like, you're cool yeah. until you get to a safe place. Yeah, yeah. you need to ask for my number. <laughs> After yeah, you like, threaten I, my life, about, can I have your number? I'm like, no. Like, did you just hear what the fuck you just said? Wait, like, wait. I ran it out. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, what are you? Exactly. What are you? And then was just, was just too much. Yeah. All of that, and I get it because we're young. But there's a way you gotta. Tra- there's just a way you can trace it. Wait. Oh my lord. <laughs> Wait, there's a way. There's something that you could do in your app because where well, you can turn like the audio on in a way, like when you. Oh, you can. Yes, yes, I got an audio feature. I don't do it yet. I just kind of because I'd be like, I don't need them all in my business talking and stuff like that yeah. because you know. But unless somebody get creepy, I'd be like, oh, you know, that I put on my little recorder. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes, girl, update your app, update your app. Because when that nigga came out, and you know what's crazy? It was something about his spirit. Like, because I'm a hustler. Like, I get yeah. money. Like, so, but cause, no, seriously. Like, I don't know how to sit down and just be, like, a housewife or whatever. And I was like, okay, I guess this is my soft girl era. <laughs> like, but I'm a whole business woman, though. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll do you know, and. And there was something about his spirit where I could not produce. And I said, like, I want to I wanna contribute. He'd be like, I'm not asking you for nothing. Girl, whole time he was he was happy that I wasn't making nothing. Whole time he was happy that I was, like, kind of, like, dependent, dependent on. And I really wasn't. I mean, he was just paying the bills because I was always, like, moving and maneuvering for me and stuff like that. 
But, you know, if you're paying the bills or whatever, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, because we knew out here. And I'm like, I guess I'm trying to figure out this housing situation. But I'm low-key trying to stay off the grid, to be quiet. <laughs> if I'm being honest, like, I really don't be wanting to be on nobody like, mm. Because if I want to just get up and go, <laughs> yeah. I want to get up and go. Like, I don't want to be tied down. So, but, girl, we, I, it was something about that. I, I had to get out. I had to get out. So now uploading it, it was saying, like, you know, you could turn the audio off for your safety. Dang. Like, <laughs> perfect place to kill a woman? Yes. He was Bro, like, I felt like he was headed yeah. for me. So, like, Of course. That was automatically I get defensive. Like, like, why would you say that? Like, good job. What What are you talking about right now? Good like, job. Good I, job. I, I try to change his mindset. Like, uh-huh. he's like, I'm so glad, and that's great that you think like that at a young age. I'm like, you need to stop thinking negative. You need to think positive because you ain't about to kill shit, right? I know that's right, baby. Look here, <laughs> to the death of me, nigga. I will fight you to like a right cool. That's right. You better. You better. Where your mates at? Where your jab? Look, stop playing with. I have face the club go the way. I gotta get another one. Oh damn! Well, you gotta get one of them jab or the club. What club? Oh, I forgot. You told me something. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I was like, what club? I just started clubbing. As you good, cause you should. Clubbing, like I just started living. Like I was paying. Like I was living by myself like three years. That's good though. Did you didn't like it? No, I loved it. Of I course. It. I'm about to say, baby, like that freedom. Rent, the rent became like... The rent was written. The rent was written, uh, baby. They wanted, like, uh... Um, they wanted too much. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. I can put that up like, here. I mean, for one bedroom? For one bedroom. That's... It was very, very small. Oh. Uh, like, I'm not paying that. Okay. I go, home, I go back home, save my money. Get Smart right. girl. That's right. And listen, if you if you got a home to go back to, like, mom and, and, mom yeah. and dad, you better... You, listen, you better sit back. Yeah. yeah. Sit down. Sit down, and if mom, if your if your parents are cool, girl, sit back and just just stack your chips, cause the rent ain't. It's not what it, it's not what it's hitting for. And figure out if you even want to stay in this country, if you want to go over. Yeah, like it, it, look at me. Everything. Yes. Everything. Every, I don't, and I don't, I don't like the way it's going. Like I don't like the way things are moving here. Something about it is like, uh, this ain't that. I'm, Check me out, or whatever. You know, I'm smoking this on it. Right there is. <laughs> Period. Is Mental health, mindfulness, it's all about, and it's perfect for your age group because it's a lot going on out here, especially in the relationships and the dating scene and just, just stay in balance because I feel like the way the world is shifting, we have to be on our peace and kids with our minds, our bodies, and our souls. We can't forget, like, we can't forget what they taught us. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, of course, old school, we take what applies and we leave what does not. But you know in your soul and in your spirit how you're supposed to be moving. Make sure you follow in that. You know, each day, do a little workout, do a little walk. You know, you're young. So do it now so that when you get my age, because I'm 40. <laughs> so when you get my oh my God, you know, look for it. Bless you, baby. <laughs> Bless you, Bob. Don't cry. <laughs> that part, that part. Yes. And I was also working. I was like working out when I was young. When I was a young twenties girl, I used to be at the park like, uh, 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 uh. Couldn't tell me nothing, you know. So as I had the baby and all that, <coughs> and I had my baby at thirty-one because niggas was not gonna, niggas not gonna get me. I was dodging I was like them. You. I was I like you, baby. I was dodging them like what? Kids? Ew. No, I'm good, bro. Chill, chill, you ain't gonna, well, you know, catch me if you can. But her dad got me. But anyway, <laughs> he caught me, caught me slipping. This nigga almost had me too. I was like, nah, whoa, whoa. You gotta, listen, they gonna try, because they, they trying to trap us. Girl, especially when you're a hot girl and you got, like, ambition and you gotta, you know, you gotta drive about you. They're like, oh, yeah, she good. They be trying to contain us. Like, you know how people trying to catch a butterfly and put it in a, a jar? That's what they be trying to do to us. So, stay on your P's and Q's, girl. So, it's for, it's for all of us. But it's really for the black, for us black folks. Because we don't take our mental health seriously at all. Like you said, they, they be snapping. Yeah. That's not cute. And especially the black men, low-key, high-key. Like, in, in June, is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. So, you hear me, listen, talk. Are you, you good? You all right? Because this, this yeah. June is black men's, men, well, it's Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. But... This is the time for us to really get the black men because I feel like they are literally they are a little bit behind. Now I'm good, I'm good. You sure? Cause I don't know. You know, like you literally just flipped out on me and excuse me, threatened to kill me. Like you know, they're not okay. You know, so it's a little bit. Of, it's all of that. So you'll see me like out here working out, 
trying to you know, get that thing thing in again because I was with that dude. He was just pumping me up, like, because just, just, just feeding me. Like, I'm like, ah, and, and then was trying to climb that's my what weight. Like about, that's, that's what they do. Like, they try to feed you so they can't eat no more. Hey! So don't thank you. So don't nobody want you. Good, thank you. Cause when you met me, I was a hot girl. Now all of a sudden, I'm like my my back is a little. <laughs> I gotta unbig my back now. You know, I got my bra size my back. Look got water. I'm like I'm doing measurements. I was, I was just I, I was like this is not me. I'm losing myself. So it's all about staying true to you, honey. Staying true to you, but also, you know, just find a healthy relationship to actually really work. As we are, you know, we don't get caught up in this. I know they be, I ain't know they're trying to do that. And so that nobody wants you. That's how I felt. I felt like I was getting bigger. It's like, it's like put you in a dark space. Girl. It put you like in a very, very I was very smoking dark. a lot more because, you know, I'm like. Oh, yeah, I am too. Babe, thank you because the anxiety was the anxiety was real but it really started because I became an orphan when my mom passed mm-hmm. when I was 35 so she passed literally five years ago she passed five years ago so she was the last like my dad passed in 2016 and my mom oh, passed you lost both your parents. Uh-huh. yeah Aww. and they were all and so I feel like they like dropped us off here I'm like hold on now <laughs> don't leave us here so now I'm trying to get my bridge going back my fa- my family or God are like when are you coming I'm like, which... like some type of family yeah yeah, yeah. I got that. siblings I got I got first cousins and stuff like that but you know like how you you know when you the way you want to move yeah you know especially like as a business they're like what are you doing with the business what is this how, how are you making money and I'm like first of all I'm trying to break free like, I don't want to just be tied up to somebody's job asking them, can I get two weeks off just to come back to visit Ghana when I need a whole month? Or if I just want to get up and move with my baby, let us go. I don't like this. I don't like this system that they're trying to box us in. So what's a lot of that going on in the pod, girl? We're trying to get free. <laughs> We're like, listen, that's a, that's a long story less yes. long. We're trying to get free. Like, because if you change the way you think and you just start looking at folks or really what it is, you just like, oh, okay. It's really bad. Like the job scene. Oh, girl, it's ugly. Oh, thank you for saying I got to do an interview. It's ugly. Yeah, I know. It I, is. It's insane, actually. Like, it's like we're overworking uh, for a little bit of pay. Underpaid, yeah. Like, like, honestly, the job I'm going to, I work at home. I've been working at home for like two years. Well, do you like it? All together, like, probably five, five four years. Okay. For the, yeah. But two different companies. This company I'm with now, I've been with them, I've been with them for two years. Okay. But it's like they're overworking me and underpaying me. Like Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesday, I'm working ten hours a day. I'm sitting on the computer talking to people for ten hours. Oh, God. I'm talking eight thirty a.m. to seven o'clock p.m. My whole day is gone. Yes. I don't have no Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. And then Thursday, Friday got me working five hours each day. Y'all could just made me that one day. Right. <laughs> Give me yeah, combine it. But so they have three days. Spread it all. Like, y'all, not, y'all not working with me, and then it's like I only get paid like fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour. Oh. It, it's just not. It's not hitting for it. yeah. So I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're home. See. Yes. I'm glad you're home. The bills became unbearable. I, I used to call my mom and cry like, Ma, I don't know how I'm gonna pay this. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna pay this. Like, come home, start over. It's okay. Thank you, girl. You know what I mean? Sometimes I reset it at my mama's house, baby. I was out here. That's why I was like, I'm like, I, 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 I cry. I just felt so bad for going back home. Like, I don't girl, don't you, dare. Go back don't, home. You dare. don't you dare. Don't you dare. As long as your parents are alive, you understand me? Yeah. You go back as many times as you need to. Man, listen. My mama went back a few times, so she, she understands where we, I'm coming from. Yes. Like, at this point, like, it was just so unbearable. Like, I, I just. I just sat, I was in a dark space. Like, I was yeah. trying myself to sleep very No. Real no. Real you bad. see, yes, because yeah. you were using it as a, as a as your way to get through, like, just yeah. to numb the pain, numb which the I pain did. Woo. And then the next morning. That's just still, them bills still billing. <laughs> bills still in. They like, hey, like, girl. I couldn't catch up because, like, I still, it, it comes monthly. Like, yes. No time I pay that one, it's another one. There too. is like, no shame I, it, in being 
back home. Listen, as long as you got a home to go to. Yeah, I, I've been okay since I've been back home. Like, I I've bet. I've done enrolled in college. Good for you, girl. Yeah, I'm trying. Good. You doing it. Now you're not trying. You're doing it. You are doing it. And I'm just happy that your head is in the right space. You are beautiful. Like, Thank you. For real. Like, you know me, black girls? I'm playing. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. I would join your podcast for real. Do you be like up there live? I don't know about the live part, <laughs> but I'll be out there, like more. Check me on Spotify and okay. YouTube and stuff like that. I'm doing. I'm gonna probably get back into a live, but okay. I'm gonna check you out most definitely. Thank you. Do You're that. Welcome. What's your name? My name is Diamond. Bye, Diamond. Oh, you such good spirit. Bless you, love. Stay connected. Okay. Love you later. <laughs> oh, she was lovely. Yes, what a cute self. Go ahead, Diamond. Think it in a shaky girl. See? See? Niggas out here crazy. Are you mad? They are mad. They are mad. I don't want to call them crazy, but they are mad. Like M A D and M A M A D and mad. 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 Oh, can you imagine? Fine girl. Fine girl like me. <laughs> Fine girl like we. We have to deal with this kind of stuff. Listen, you guys better sort yourselves out. June is Mental Health Awareness Month. And we're not playing with y'all. We're not playing no more. We're calling y'all out. Get the mental help that you need. Because a lot of y'all really need it. Tell me I'm good. I don't want to talk about my psyche. Yeah, because you know it's not okay. And it's okay to get your shit aligned. Sort out that psyche. Sort out those dark thoughts. You can't be out here threatening women talking about this is a good place to kill a woman. God, so I think y'all get mad. Why? Then y'all want to talk about the black woman so bad? Look at what we got to deal with. And then you know the ones that pretend like they're okay, then when they, oh, when they feel the slightest hint of rejection, I did not know y'all be blacking out like this. Your mothers did not do y'all, do y'all no justice about the real world and real girls, real women. We're not dealing with you. We're not your mamas. We don't got to deal with that. We can say bye. The only person that got to deal with you is your mama. Are you mad? And in closing, I hope you receive something today that inspires you, that helps you, that supports you. I know that I have a viral clip right now. My TikTok channel is going mod because there's um, in the women's bathroom when I went out a few weeks ago or sometime last month now, uh, there was a, a note and it was a perfect note because women... Our most women are gentle beings, and sometimes our gentleness is P-R-E-Y-E-D, preyed upon. So I was appreciative of this um, message that was sent to, or that was in the ladies' bathroom for the women if they felt uncomfortable. Because as you heard here in today's episode, we should not take lightly physical abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, or any abuse of that capacity. I could care less. May you all look over your the woman in your life because women still need to be protected. Listen, my socks dirty, my shoes white, my Glock 30. When I rap, I'm a shooter. Stop bitching and write something. Time is made up, but it's time that we fight for something. Holding back opinion, I might die if I fake like it. Nothing even matters in this world. We live by the Pika. I was playing Mario in 01. I can spill the definition of a tyrant. I invested something that I know of. Boxing in Japan like I'm M. Bison. Listen, 30,000 hours in notebooks. I wrote hooks and understood the world is my pen. It's just chicken and hens. I get cracking like breakfast. I break fast like I might really crash in the end. Reincarnation, I'm acknowledging spaces. The force of being human is like falling and hitting pavement. All y'all super tasteless. <laughs> All y'all super tasteless. But the only person holding my back is myself. I don't know anything. I just roam seven seas. I just walk seven lanes. I am a human being, but power rests in my hand. I think I just made a fan. Came a long way from lunch tables. I challenge this man. I rap, I win. I challenge this man. I rap, I win. I challenge this man. This fight, it ain't right, but I just killed off his clan. Senko. We like living. We like gold. We like silver. We like hoes. We got goals. We just human. We don't know, but we ain't stupid. We like.